than catching a largemouth bass out in your favorite lake. What can be more fun than watching Hulk Hogan sweat or seeing the rear end of Lou Albano? It's playing crab soccer down at the Canton High School. And the 1985 Crab Soccer Tournament Champion has been decided. The winners, Period 5. Who can never forget about the great action we had in 1984 with Period 3 winning it one nothing. But this season was no disappointment indeed. No, in fact, it had action and lots of it. Both teams had the chance to take it at any time. But it was the veterans that finally won it. Look at this blast that's saved by the goalie. Oh, 1985. It's proving to be the year of action. In, in crab soccer, this was no disappointment. Look at plenty of opportunities, plenty of penalty shots. What a great save right there. I had a chance to talk to the winning team and the captains. And after we got a chance to talk to Mr. King, it was action all the way. All right, here we are for another Cable 8 exclusive. Today we are here at Canton High School for the final game of the Crab Soccer Tournament. And once again, no disappointment to the crowd. We had an unbelievable game. Today with me, Coach King is going to make a presentation to Period 5, the 1985 Crab Soccer Tournament champions. Mr. King, if you will. Uh, Billy, on behalf of the Physical Education Department, I want to present this uh, trophy to Captain uh, Wally. And uh, Wally's done a great job with him. His teammates have all rounded behind him, and they come through with a two to nothing victory. And we're very proud of Captain Wally. Come up, Wally. Come up here. Come up here, Wally. And we're very proud of Captain Wally. A few, a, a few questions, please. Wally, first of all, congratulations on the victory. I heard it was an unbelievable one. Wally, did you? Did you think when the day started you'd, you'd have this, uh, this glory that's thrust upon you? <laughs> okay, Wally, when it, was, when it was finally over, you finally won it. What is it like to be the 1985 Interscholastic Crab Soccer Champion? It's great. It's great. Yeah. Wally, a, a few comments on the air. Who are the stands out in the team? Who are the ones that helped you get this prestigious trophy? <laughs> Mike Toomey, John Serino. Chris Martin, Greg Martin, uh, Johnny Wayne. Well, 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 I know this must probably be perhaps the, most, the most important day in your life right now, winning the Crab Soccer Tournament. Wally, with this, with this tournament right now, do you think you'll be traveling to other countries right now to try to develop the, uh, the art of Crab Soccer? Maybe. Wally, once again, for Cable 8, I want to congratulate you. The champ of 1985, period 5. All right, I'm here with Coach King right now. Just moments after the Crab Soccer Tournament has ended right now, there's still pandemonium happening in the gym. Uh, outside, people are uh, screaming in the streets right now. Coach King, uh, give us a little background. Uh, the Cable A crew was a little bit late today due to tec technical difficulties. Give us a little, a little uh, wrap-up of the game. Well, Billy, what happened today was, was the uh, final game of a two-week period where we've had a single elimination tournament. Each of the phys ed classes have their own team, and they play along until they lose, and then they're out of the tournament. Uh, the tournament started uh, with 28 teams, and we finally come down to two teams today, and they were of even strength. As it turned out, uh, the team, uh, the strong team with Captain Wally, scored uh, rather quickly into the game, and then later on scored another goal and held on, held on for a 2 nothing shutout. But the, uh, the uh, intramural program here, we had all the boys in high school involved in it, plus the girls had their tournament earlier. So what we're trying to do here, at the high school is to get everybody involved, especially the non-varsity athlete, and that's what uh, we're uh, trying to do. So generally speaking, I thought the tournament went off uh, extremely well. Uh, the boys had a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, the talent was there, and uh, I, for myself, and the spectators here had a most enjoyable afternoon. Coach King, how does this year's talent compare with the years of past? Uh, uh, just to bring back some, a few names, 1979, they had Hattrick Daly, one of the premier uh, crap soccer players, uh, perhaps one of the best scorers I've ever seen. And uh, John Mullally, just to name a few, LeJace Carrington down the line, Mark Carter, some premier players. How does this year compare with the years in the past? Well, the, the, the talent is still there. Uh, the uh, kids now start playing this in grades 7 and 8, so when they come into the high school, they've already had uh, two or three years' experience, and then they're peaking for this mostly uh, in their senior year because then they have all the talents together. But it's very hard to pick out uh, any one outstanding player. If I had to name one, I'd take uh, John John 
uh, Boom Boom Marini, who played here uh, maybe seven or eight years ago. I'm not too sure if my arithmetic is right, but uh, he was probably one of the uh, best players we had here at Kenton High School. Are there any uh, different rules changes since the Crab Soccer has premiered? Uh, not so. Uh, it's, it's, it's fair play, it's hard play, and it's fun for the kids with safety uh, a prime factor. Coach, I was looking at the scorecard, and I noticed you have a numerous amount of penalties here. It looked like it must have been a very rough game out there today. Well, well, not rough. It was an enthusiastic game, we should say, that the fellows were all fired up uh, coming in here looking for a win with the uh, T-shirts being offered, plus the names go on the plaque in my office, which is the Hall of Fame for the Crab Soccer. And uh, that's something for them to look back at years from now. So uh, when you were in high school, you probably felt the same way. You're very enthusiastic. It's, uh, it's almost like the uh, Canton Stoughton uh, football game. The kids really get fired up for this year. It's the talk of the school for the last two weeks. Coach, one last, one last question. The, uh, the outlook for Crab Soccer in, say, the year uh, 1990, what do you see? Any uh, changes in the game or any improvements? Uh, do you think this is going to become uh, worldwide or what? Well, I'll tell you one thing, uh, Billy. Uh, we'll be all right as long as we don't get go professional. And with Doug Flutie taking all the money, uh, we don't have to worry about that. So I think things are safe here at uh, Kenton High School. Coach, I want to thank you. Uh, it, it's, it's people like you that get crab soccer, a great name that it is. Well, thank you very much, Bill. For Always Coach King you. and myself, this has been Bill Titus here at the 1985 Crab Soccer Champions saying we wish you a happy and safe summer. Don't eat crabs.